work that remains in manufacturing here in Eastern Ontario, and there's a lot of it, and it's quite important. It's specialized, niche-oriented manufacturing. The manufacturing industry in, in Ottawa, in the Eastern Ontario region, is quite vibrant. Not very many people know that we deal with uh, the railroad industry. Uh, not very many people know that we are developing new products, that we have R&D that, that's ongoing. People are always going to need things that don't come directly off the shelf where we can still be competitive because we're making a product that fits our customers' needs and they can't get it cheaper offshore. Not only aerospace but in space, Canada uh, is unique in the world in that we are driven by exports and we can only be that if we are the best in the world. These are not the kinds of products that people buy offshore unless they're better than the domestic market. So we have gotten good at it, we need to stay good at it, and we need to understand that export success is the way that our industry is going to thrive. The foundation of the economy has to come from, uh, from manufacturing, the actual production of, of real goods, and uh, we can do it as well as anybody else can. At Sambat, things are uh, going extremely well. Uh, we're expanding our operation into uh, other product lines. We recently implemented a third shift and uh, we ended up hiring 12 people to support that shift. So for example, of the 34 employees, about a third of them have been with Gill Line for 15 years or more. And even for new staff coming on board, we have a very low turnover. We've made a huge investment in expectation that our business will grow. We've done the machine end of it, but now we have to have the people that can work with our machines and allow us to have more market share. The predominance of our staff have some kind of technical background. We have uh, technicians and technologists. We have a very high proportion of people with uh, undergrad degrees and we also have a significant number with advanced degrees in science, technology, engineering, math disciplines. There's only so much that can be learned in the classroom. You're going to be confronted with situations that you're going to have to deal with that uh, do not involve something that you've necessarily covered. What we need is people that want to embrace manufacturing as a career. And to do that, we need people with technical reading, computer literacy, ability to change and willingness to change and be very flexible in what they're going to do because that's the nature of our environment. There's a, uh, uh, an available pool of talent here that's experienced in terms of electronic manufacturing and that benefits us and all the manufacturers here in Eastern Ontario. One skill set we are continually challenged for and that's for design engineering. And the reason for that is not that there's so much of a shortage of design engineers um, in Eastern Ontario, it's that they tend to be concentrated in Ottawa. Now most of our production is, is automated, uh, so we're looking at people who are familiar with intricate machines, but at the same time we also require people who can do work in the old-fashioned way because a machine can't do everything. At Transformix, because we are vertically integrated companies, there are so many different areas of uh, technical people that we require. So on the engineering front, we hire mechanical engineers, very talented mechanical engineers, who is able to design on a whiteboard, electrical engineers and software engineers. On the manufacturing fronts, the type of uh, skill sets we require are machinists, tune and die makers, millwrights, um, electricians, uh, PLC programmers, uh, technologists, and the list goes on because we are a complete turnkey company. Typically we're looking for machinists, machine operators, mechanical assemblers. We do from time to time look for uh, CNC programmers, so people with Gibbs Cam or Master Cam experience. Um, we, we look for millwrights and, and sometimes just general laborers as well. Of the Industries has quite a dynamic set of skill sets that are required for our particular industry. Uh, we have gas fitters, we have electrical specialists, we have electronic specialists, we have laser operators, engineers, technicians. Uh, so we require uh, quite a broad spectrum of varying skill sets. Right now the hiring challenges are that, that we are looking uh, very much for new grads uh, at the sort of undergrad or, or post-college level and, and we're actually fi finding that coming out of this recession clearly there's a demand for those kinds of people because we're having uh, some trouble for the first time really uh, identifying uh, qualified candidates. One of the challenges that we've had is, uh, for example, uh, repair to our machines. Uh, we have to get people uh, as far as uh, 
uh, the states in some cases to uh, have them uh, service the machines properly. It's easy for us to find someone with computer skills, but often finding them with a diverse set of mechanical skills combined with a bit of com computer knowledge can be very difficult. OCM is constantly looking for talent or people with skills and we don't seem to be able to match the two. We have a number of uh, co-ops um, coming out of both, both college and high school coming in here to work. Um, we were involved recently um, a little bit with Algonquin College when they were thinking of cancelling their machinist program. We became involved with that knowing the importance of, of keeping that uh, pool full of, of the people we're going to look for in the future. One of the most important things is to teach people that they can be employers. The ability to create, the ability to produce, means the, the ability to generate employment and, and stabilize the economy. We have a good academic institution. They just need to be more focused towards manufacturers. The SAMBAT message to government would be to um, be a facilitator and mentor to uh, students and also small business uh, without too much red tape. Avi Industries has been involved the last few years in Algonquin Supplied Research Program. We're developing a product that will uh, clear snow from around fire hydrants. And we would not have been able to uh, get as far as we have been with our new technology without the assistance of the students of Algonquin and the Applied Research Program. My goal is to get the manufacturing industry to work in concert with governments, with the uh, educational system, uh, to understand our needs and our requirements, uh, to be able to better develop students that are coming through the system so that they're ready to come into the manufacturing environment. Manufacturing is extremely important to our economic well-being as a nation. And because of that, we must continue to invest in our children and the future in terms of building up the skilled labor that is so needed for the manufacturing jobs that we're trying to create. And a lot of that starts with the basic high school education going on to colleges or university. And we can't take that away at this critical time. The Eastern Ontario Manufacturers Network we try to promote manufacturing in our region through events such as uh, Manufacturing Week where we have uh, guided tours of uh, companies in the region and, uh, and in, in general reversing the negative media trend on manufacturing. In Ontario alone we are the largest single jurisdiction in North America for manufacturing behind California.